Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Eric from EGAT Tech. There are a lot of people playing Pokemon Go and one of the problems that we've personally faced is that we were not able to go out as much because of the restrictions of travel due to the pandemic. So my son was actually complaining that he couldn't enjoy the game because in our area there's not that many people that is playing Pokemon Go and we don't get to go out a lot. So I actually stopped playing for a while and at some point he actually tried some location spoofing but he was worried that he was going to get banned. So this is where the software that I'm going to be discussing today will come in which is the IMI phone any two. So what is the iMyPhone Any2 app? It is a one-click change GPS location that you can run on your iOS device and now as well as your Android device. So with the new version of the Any2, you can modify your GPS location on your iPhone and it is a very powerful software and I'm going to be discussing more of the features in this video. So what are we waiting for guys? Let's get this iMyPhone Any2 software review going. So as I mentioned guys, this is a software from iMyPhone. I've been using a lot of iMyPhone software and they are a very good value for money. So you guys might be thinking, what do you actually need to get going? So it does require a Windows machine. So you need to download the app on your desktop or your laptop, and then you can connect your iOS or your Android device uh, via USB. But that's only for the first time. Once you've made that connection, as, as long as both your Windows machine and your iOS or your Android phone is on the same Wi-Fi, you should be able to run it without needing to connect it via cable. So what does the iMyPhone Any2 software actually let you do? So you can fake the GPS location on your iOS or your Android device in one click, it's basically a GPS location spoofer. So for you tricksters out there, you can actually try to trick your friends on social apps with fake GPS location so you can make your friends think that you're somewhere that you're actually not. So for all the fakers out there, this might be the app for you. And for those who are worried about their privacy and they're actually worried that they're being tracked on their mobile devices, you can actually throw whoever's tracking you off your tracks because you can actually make them on a wild goose chase and let them think that you're going somewhere other than where you're actually at. You can also mock locations on dating apps because you're not seeing enough beautiful or handsome people to meet and greet so you can change your geolocation to somewhere else and try your luck there. And of course, this is where Pokemon Go comes in. You're going to be accessing the geo-specific services. So this app actually lets Pokemon Go think that you're in a totally different location. And as I mentioned, guys, it's free to try. And if you want to actually go ahead and purchase the software, you've got a couple of plans here. Uh, you've got a one month plan. You're billed $19.99. You can go for the quarterly plan. You're going to be billed quarterly at $39.99. There's a yearly plan, $79.99. Or if you want a lifetime plan, you only have to pay $119.99, so $120 uh, give or take. And if you use the promo code that I'm going to be displaying on the screen right now, you can get an additional 10% discount on any of these plans. Alright, and as I mentioned guys, it's free to try. So if you're on the trial version, you can only modify your location up to 5 times and you can simulate your navigation route for a total of 1 time. There is map navigation and it's a very limited experience. So I highly suggest going for a plan that will meet your needs and will fit your budget. So how do you actually install the iMyPhone? So you only have to click on try it free and it's going to download the setup file. I've already downloaded it and I've already installed it. So in order to run it, let me open up my iMyPhone, get started. I will go ahead and log in my account. All right guys, so I already opened iMyPhone and into app and it's asking me to connect my iOS or Android device to the PC. So let me open up Pokemon Go for you guys and let me connect the phone to my machine. Okay, my iPhone. Okay, let's click OK. And it says I'm connected. So let me load up Pokemon Go for you guys. So there is some tutorial here so we can get introduced to the main features. Okay, there's a search bar. You actually put in uh, what location that you want to go to, so we'll get to that later. There's a teleport mode, so like any place you want to go on the map and click move to locate your phone GPS to that place. So you basically click and you're going to be moved to that place on the map. 
Okay, there's a jump teleport mode. There's a two spot mode. So this is basically routing. So you can move between two different points. So it's like you're walking or you're biking. So it depends on the settings that you're going to be putting. It's the joystick. So if you just want to move manually, you can do so. And it has a history and favorite. So you can view historical, historical records. So you'll know where you've been uh, in any type of app or in any type of game. So let's say I want to move to Los Angeles. Okay, this seems like a good place to start. Let's maximize the screen. And let's move. No reminders. Okay, so as you can see here on Pokemon Go, I am in LA. So I can actually put some. So let's say I want to walk here. Let's say I want to go to the gas station here. So you've got some options here. So you can actually loop around. Uh, there's a realistic mode so the speed is not going to be constant so you're going to be walking at different paces or you can set it to run like you're on a bike on the motorbike or on the car so let's say but realistic so if i click on move so as you can see here it's not going to go in a straight line from here to there it's going to be walking along the road so pretty much what you're going to be doing if you're actually walking in this area so as you can see here, I'm already walking. So you can actually start playing Pokemon Go uh, like normal. So let's try to catch this one. And you can actually stop at any time and let's say I want to do a multi-spot mode so you can click on several spots yeah, but in this mode you have to be careful guys because it's going to go in a straight line so it's not like the two spot mode where it's going to automatically detect the road and you're only going to be walking along the roads so let's stop that for now and if you want to make sure that you're accurate you just click on there 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 there, there, there. So you can place as many points as you want guys. So it's, it's very powerful and you just actually have to click on move and you're done. There's a teleport mode here, um, but I'm not going to be doing the jump teleport because I don't want to be banned in uh, my son's Pokemon Go account. So I'm just going to uh, let him play around with the game later on once I'm done with the video. Now to go back to some of the features guys, so just to show you again, so similar to what I'm doing, you can simulate the GPS movement with customized routes, you can do the jump teleport mode, I've shown you how to do the two spot mode, I've shown you how to do the multi spot mode, you can also make use of the joystick, so you've got 360 degree directions, you've got automatic moving, you've got keyboard control, so if you want to play it like a first person shooter using the WASD key, you can do so, and there are a lot of options there, so it, it's going to depend on what you feel like doing when you're running the iMyPhone Any2 app. And actually what makes it one of the best location changers, here are a couple of advantages that this location changer app has over its competitors. So it supports up to 10 iOS or Android devices, but that's only if you opt for the monthly or the quarterly or even the yearly plan. So you can control 10 devices at the same time. It does have historical records, so you can save the historical spots and make it more convenient to reselect. So take Pokemon Go for an example. Let's say you found a spot where some of the rare Pokemons pop up. Then you can save it and make sure that you can go back to that location. So I'm seeing a couple of Pokemons here right now. Let me go back to the app and pause it for now. So it's going to stop moving. Now to go back, as I mentioned, it has an adjustable moving speed. There's an option to import or export your GPX, so you can freely import and export the routes that you want. You can collect spots and routes, you can bookmark your favorite places and routes for easy one-tap access. As I mentioned, it has a realistic or fluctuation mode, so that means you can choose the real mode and it's going to uh, simulate real movement as much as possible. 
It supports USB and Wi-Fi connection, so both the iOS and Android devices support both formats. So you just have to make sure that it's on the same Wi-Fi network. There's a cooling timer function as well. It gives you a reminder not to do uh, relevant operations before the countdown ends. So if for whatever reason you got shadow banned in Pokemon Go, you can set a cooling timer for 2 hours and then you can start using it again. So before I wrap up the video guys, if you guys are interested in getting this very powerful software especially for Pokemon Go, I do know a lot of Pokemon Go addicts, they're probably going to go out right now and get this app for their own personal use. So if you guys want to take advantage of the 10% discount, here is my promo code again that you can enter on the purchase link. I have also added the download link on the video description guys so if you guys want to go out and give it a try, it's free to try so if you're happy with it, then you can go ahead and purchase any of the plan so you can go from monthly to quarterly to yearly and even the lifetime plan so if you plan to use this app for quite a long time i would highly suggest going for the lifetime plan so you don't have to worry about paying on monthly basis on a quarterly basis or even on an annual basis so as i mentioned guys let me know if you want to see an android version or an android guide for using the imi phone any2 so with that said, let me end this quick iMyPhone Any2 software review. As usual guys, a sub would be highly appreciated. Please like and subscribe, hit that bell icon notification, and see you all on my next one.